Hi, I'm Trevor Congregate, Software Manager for RNK Distributing, and this video is all about the new Floriani Sketch a Stitch software. And I'm just showing you one of my latest sketches. It's the Atlanta City View sketch. And um, before you start to think that I'm some amazing artist or illustrator, what I need to tell you is I traced this over top of a photograph. And so that's kind of like the actual photograph that I used. And if I hide the stitches, you can see it was a photograph of Atlanta. Um, I thought it was cool because you could have all the cars and the tail lights were kind of lit up. Anyway, that's why I chose that photograph. But um, turn the stitches back on and maybe hide the artwork and you can see what a cool embroidery design that it turns out to be. And so I just wanted to show you guys um, a little bit of information about this new program called Sketch a Stitch because it's technically something that you can combine or add on to your Floriani software. Whether you own Fusion or FTCU, Sketch a Stitch can be added on. And so, yeah, and now is the best time to get it because um, there was some really exciting news about Sketch a Stitch. This has been our newest program, it just came out about maybe one year ago and it's been very popular and so the exciting news is that sketch a stitch is actually getting a buddy and so now we're going to have an ipad app that's like a companion for the sketch a stitch software in other words anyone who owns the sketch a stitch software will be able to also have a copy of the new floriani sketch a stitch app for the ipad and let me tell you it sure is fun um, it's not available on the ipad right now but it's expected spring 2020 um, which is very near for now and so it doesn't matter when you buy the floriani sketch a stitch software so even people who bought it prior to today you'll be getting this new app for no additional cost. And so isn't that awesome? So make sure that you register your Floriani software so that we can make you available of that. Um, but if you're brand new and you own just FTCU software and you're like, what is this new sketch app all about? I thought that maybe I could show you guys um, just a little bit more about it. And so I'm going to click on new empty workspace here. And I'm just going to show you that, sure, I'm in FTC right now. You obviously recognize the tools of my software. Uh, but if I come up right here, it says the sketchbook tool. And so that's one that you probably don't have. And the reason that it's available to me is because I've added on this Floriani sketch -a stitch software to the FTCU. So I'll, I'll go ahead right now and click on that tool and so you see that we get this new tool interface it's the sketchbook uh, widget and if i click right here it'll show me all the different kinds of brushes that you can do so we have tapered end steel a calligraphy something that's pressure sensitive a standard steel stitch you can also do applique with this fill stitch bean stitch and run stitch and so essentially if i just grab this tool for tapered ends and i click and drag when i click it starts drawing and when I let go it stops and it's really as easy as that you guys you just click and drag to make your shapes um, you can use calligraphy tools to do that with it and so you'll see that every time I change I guess the type of brush it changes the type of embroidery so pressure sensitive would require something more than what I'm using right now and so what I said by that is it doesn't seem to matter how hard I click on the wheel of my or the button of my mouse it doesn't change the width of it and that's because the pressure sensitive tool would only really come into effect if you had something like a touchscreen computer that had that pressure sensitivity or maybe a little drawing tablet or something like that and so what I'm telling you is I get this question a lot so I thought I would just go ahead and answer it sketch a stitch software will work with whatever you own of course it will add on to your Floriani software and it works with just a mouse and so I'm doing my entire demonstration today just with my mouse um, but that said if you have a touchscreen computer well you'll be able to touch your screen and and draw with your finger or draw with a pen if you're if you've got a pen that draws on your computer in other words whatever you can attach to the computer really will work uh, this photograph right here is actually something called a pen tablet if you own one of those It'll also work with Sketch a Stitch, and that just, you know, having a pen to draw just makes it feel a little more natural, that's all. Um, this is a photograph here of a pen display. That's also something that you may own. 
um, if you have a pen display, it's like having an external monitor that you can draw on. And so essentially what I'm telling you is Sketch a Stitch works with whatever you own. Uh, nothing is required. You know, I'm just going to use a regular old Windows computer right now um, and my mouse. So, you know, anyway, these are the tools. Steel Stitch. Um, so now we're going to move into the applique tool. And so again, you click and drag to draw the shape. And when you let go, it creates the all of the steps that are needed to do an applique. And so if you already own FTCU, what would be new? This is a totally different way of creating embroidery because, first of all, there's almost no tool that you really have to learn about. It's just simply when you click down, it starts drawing, and when you let go, it stops. And so I like to say this is the perfect way to interact with your family and friends who maybe don't do embroidery, but they might like to draw a little sketch for you. And, and let's just remember that you don't have to be able to draw um, because you can also trace the things that you want. But I can assure you the family members will love this idea. And so I tried it with some of my family members. And first of all, my very good friend Ricky Brooks sent me a photograph that was from his daughter's ministry. And it was this photograph, and, and what I did was I simply traced the picture so somebody had already drawn it. And I put that drawing on the screen. Here, let's just choose the color red and take the little sketchbook tool and draw a line so you can basically just use your mouse to kind of follow along. And, and as I draw that line, it instantly turns into an embroidery, you know, run stitch. And so if I turn back on those stitches, I guess, because I hid them, you'd see that I had just drawn this latest little red line. And, you know, when you look at my drawing up close, you can see just how kind of sketchy it really is. And now it doesn't have to be sketchy. You can, you know, be very specific. In fact, that little red line that I drew, just like anything, we can select it and choose the shape tool and perfect those shapes if you want to. But it's really a new way of digitizing because right now, of course, you're used to using the input method where you click and you click and you click. Well, this couldn't be more fun. And and uh, I know Ricky was really pleased with how this turned out. And so I brought the photograph to show you guys like that's exactly what I made. Um, and it didn't take me hardly any time at all. And I don't know if you guys might be thinking right now, well, sure, Trevor, that's easy. You're just really good at this stuff. So I had to try some of my family members. And so here's a design that was made by my daughter, Reese. And she was only 11 years old when she sketched this. And look at her, um, if I hide that backdrop and just show you the little cute little bird that she drew and how it was literally from her own photograph. In other words, let's just hide the stitches. Reese drew the picture. I simply took a picture of her drawing and then put it on the screen and showed her how the cute little sketchbook tool works and showed her how she could make fills and outlines. And she sketched up her design. Um, it didn't take her but a half an hour. And I brought the photograph so you guys could see. Okay, well, that's actually Reese sketching it on her dad's laptop. And there's the finished embroidery and I was so proud of her and I mean who wouldn't be right when your kids can do this and and your grandkids or your best friend or maybe your artsy fartsy aunt who knows somebody in your family is going to want to interact with this so I think it's the funnest new program from Floriani and everybody should get a copy of it and you know was Reese's embroidery perfect no did I care absolutely not I was so proud of her and um so yeah and then look at what my um other super talented daughter Loren made from a photograph of the New York Times Square that's like you know from her great right from her grade nine school trip and um, she sketched it and so it turns out really cool to interact with your family it doesn't take very long to make the little sketches and there's really no right or wrong and there's not much to do other than turn on the cool little wheel um, you can draw your own shapes of course it comes with lots of shapes like hearts and squares and things like this and so um, really it's very easy and intuitive to make and so whether you're doing I guess uh, applique or run stitch if I choose run stitch then we'll get run stitch stars if I choose fill then we'll get filled in stars and unless, of course, I choose to draw my own shape, in which case I will get a fill of whatever shape that I can draw. And so, yeah, um, you can obviously see that I'm not much of a sort of like hand illustrator. 
um, that I really need to follow along with, you know, some kind of an artwork. And so that's really how I do these things. Um, my Atlanta see, scene, if I put my photograph on and I, what I'm telling you is I like to zoom in, you know, and, and you don't always have to do it perfect because really it's the stitch out that kind of tells the story. And, um, I've been really enjoying Sketch a Stitch. And so I wanted to make sure that everybody knew because now is the best time to get it because, um, because we're coming out with the new, uh, iPad app. Uh, if you get it now, you'll be able to get advantage of purchasing the uh, Sketch a Stitch software um, before the app comes out. And so you'll be one of the first ones to see it. And I think the price has never been better because we have special pricing if you buy it as an add on copy, which means um, you simply go into your help menu and you go under your license activator. And when you're in your license activator, you will be able to select uh, Sketch a Stitch as the product that you would like to add to your software. I've already added it, and so it's no longer, I guess, an option for me to add. But that's where you'll go to the select a product. And then, of course, you're going to need to visit your favorite Floriani dealer to be able to purchase the software. And that's where you'll go to add it, I guess is what I'm telling you. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you're as excited about Sketch a Stitch as I am. And so thank you very much for listening. Um, until next time, have a great day and bye bye.